What's up YouTube? Tom from Tech Stops here and you can check me out on Twitter at Tech Stops or my blog techstopshere.net. Today I'm doing another review. Today it's the X-Rite i1 monitor calibrator. You may have heard or may not have heard about these calibrators. What they do is they essentially calibrate your monitor in line with an ICC photo profile, like a printer profile. And what that means is when you're calibrating, or sorry, when you're editing images on programs like Photoshop or uh, you know, CS4 or Elements, you'll be the colors, the brightness, the contrast, saturation, and so forth. What you'll be seeing on your screen will match the output uh, when you print it out. So sometimes what you get is, or what a lot of people get is they edit their photos, they look fantastic on the screen, they then go print them out, and they just don't have the same color colors or contrasts and so forth, and they essentially disappoint with the out, with the uh, outcome. So these color calibrators go for about two hundred to three hundred dollars, depending on which one you purchase. Mine set me back about two hundred and sixty bucks. And what they essentially are, they come with a bundled software, and these. So this is it here. And what it is, it's got a little eye there, or four eyes, little um, cameras or lenses there. And it essentially monitors all of the settings, the color, contrast, brightness, and so forth on your monitor. And you can adjust it to certain luminance and so forth. And then it will set the profile accordingly. So new monitors, for instance, a new high-tech uh, top-of-the-line monitor will be very bright, an LCD monitor. So you need to pull the brightness back. And these, are, these will, the software will tell you what to do, how to go about it, you know, what levels to set it at, and so forth. So very useful. Um, the difference between an uncalibrated and a calibrated monitor is can be worlds apart. When you check what after you've calibrated, it, you can see what your monitor was like before the calibration, um, and you can uh, you can really see the difference. So x -Rite do a number of calibrating devices. Uh, this is the x i i1, like I said. I can just show you how this sort of goes on here. Essentially just swings over the top of your monitor. Just like so. Zoom out. And then you just run your software and away you go. So you initially set the luminance and you set the contrast as per um, the guidelines on the software. So it will tell you sort of you've got a guide to sort of work between, then once you've done that you press next or you can go via the advanced mode and it will set all your colors and the profile itself. Also if you're printing to a particular um, software house, you know like a, uh, a printer or a particular company which has ICC profiles, you can often download them from their website, install them on your software and then you can calibrate it to that particular printer so you come up with the best results possible. But that's it. It's highly recommended. Although, if you're not really printing, just set that. If you're not really printing many photos, it's probably an expense you can do without for now. You're better off upgrading in glass and uh, the equipment in your photo photography gear rather than one of these, uh, because it is pretty expensive for what it is. Uh, but it does uh, it does allow you to really improve those uh, the output quality of the images. You know, or essentially, you can edit to what you, you know, you'll get what you edit, um, essentially. Because there's nothing worse than putting a lot of hours into editing an image and then printing it out, putting it on the wall, and it looks nothing like what you thought it was like. It was too dark or too bright or the colors aren't right, and it just doesn't look very good. So these ones run USB, no extra power source needed, and they work very well. They've been around for this particular model, which is still the current model. It's been around for probably five or six years. It's been around for a long time, but they just work uh, work wonders. So that's the x right i1. Uh, let me know what you think. There, I must admit there have been good and bad sort of comments or reviews about this. It's generally accepted in the industry as one of the better uh, calibrating monitors. Uh, there are the spiders around as well. Um, but uh, as any sort of, you know, you speak to two people and you get three different answers. So I suggest you check it out yourself, but they are, they are a worthy investment. But as I said, for 300 bucks, you, you, uh, you could spend your money more wisely.
So that's it for this one. Tom from Tech Stops here. Check out my other videos. Subscribe to my uh, channel and check me out on my blog, techstopshere.net. Catch you guys next time. Cheers.